Hey everyone, welcome back to Gastromania. Hope you guys had a great Lunar New Year celebration. Today, we're back with another episode, and the recipe we're sharing today is Sambal Stingray. This dish is an extremely popular dish in Singapore and is representative of our hawker food. This dish requires sambal, which you can make easily using my rempa recipe linked on the top right hand corner. With this recipe, you can make this popular hawker food right at home too. Let's get right into this recipe. First, we have to prepare the rumpa. We have 150 grams of shallots. Five cloves of garlic. Five large red chilies. They have to be deseeded. A few bird's eye chilies. You can add more if you prefer a spicier sambal. Next, we have 25 grams of galangal. Twenty five grams of turmeric, six candle nuts, thirty five grams of dried chilies. You will have to deseed them and soak them in water later on. Three stalks of lemongrass. We only need to use the white part and cut them finely. Ten grams of balachan. Dry toast the balachan and grind it finely. Blend the shallots and garlic finely into a paste. Add some oil to make the blending process much easier. After that, blend the remaining ingredients into a paste as well. Next, prepare 50 grams of dried shrimps. Soak it in water for about 30 minutes to soften it. Blanch the banana leaves using hot water. This will clean up the banana leaves and soften it at the same time. We will also need about 75 grams of tamarind paste. Add water and mix it evenly. Remove the seeds in the paste. On the stingray, make 2 to 3 deep cuts so that it can cook more evenly later on. Chop up the dried shrimps into fine bits. And let's get cooking. Add some oil into a wok. It doesn't have to be too much as you can add more later on if it's too dry. Add the shallot garlic paste into the wok and fry until fragrant. Add the remaining chilli paste into the wok and mix it evenly. Fry this rumpa until the chilli oil is forced out and darkens. Remove the rumpa and set it aside. Add the chopped dried shrimps into the same wok and fry evenly until the fishy smell is removed. 
Once it's fragrant, add the rampine to the dried shrimps. Mix it evenly. Add the tamarind paste into the wok. If you're unsure of how sour tamarind paste is, you can add it part by part and taste and adjust accordingly along the way. Then, add 2 tablespoons of gula malaka into the mixture. Remember to taste and adjust the sambal. Once done, set the sambal aside for later use. Put one banana leaf into the wok. Spread about one third of the sambal on top of the banana leaf. Place the stingray onto the sambal layer. Turn on medium high heat. Cover the wok and grill for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, remove the stingray, flip it and put it onto another similarly prepared banana leaf with another one third of the sambal. Place the banana leaf with sambal onto the wok. Spread another layer of the remaining one third sambal on top of the stingray. Cover the wok and grill the stingray for 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, we can serve the stingray. We can also prepare a dipping sauce for this dish. First, cut some shallots finely. Then, add some chinchalok. Lastly, squeeze some fresh calamansi into the dipping sauce. And the dipping sauce is ready! Ah, this sambal stingray smells so fragrant. The method of grilling the stingray on top of the banana leaf replicates the barbecue smell from a charcoal grill that makes this dish extra similar to the one that is made in hawker centers. Try it today! And we have come to the end of today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the Sambal Stingray video, do help us hit the like button. Consider subscribing to our channel to stay tuned to our weekly recipes every Saturday. And do let us know if you have any more dishes you would like us to demonstrate. And I'll catch you in my next video.